What's going on YouTube, back once again in the shed, and I welcome you to yet another review. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I did this once already, but I forgot to plug in the mic. <laughs> so here we go again. <laughs> no mistakes. So, basically, I'm a bit late on this one. I apologise for that. Um, on Saturday, I had a bit of a dicky tummy and that. I woke up Saturday morning being sick and I didn't eat nothing all day and did a lot of sleeping. And then Sunday, I could eat a little bit but still was sleeping a lot. <clears throat> and then I slept in quite a bit today. But now that I'm up and about, I feel okay. So I'm going to try and push on with it and get back into things. You know, these things happen. What I'm smoking on today is a rope it's a rope pipe which is a french company this one's called um grand deluxe oh damn it i can't remember what the uh idols eels i put something up that says the, the rate the line it was i forget how you say it but it's a bulldog nice little brass band you know it's not the best um, example of what they do, but to me, I think it's wicked, and that's all that matters, isn't it? As long as I'm enjoying it. Um, so, yeah. I feel like I've got my own little bit of history here. That I'm going to try and work to help preserve for future generations. Right. In it, sorry, I'm smoking Wilson's of Shadow Gold. That Golden Virginia Tobacco Blend by Wilson's of Sharrow. Um it's really nice, I don't know. I always avoided I think I had some pre um pre my head's gone blank, I can't think of the word, but you know, assumptions of what Virginia was about and I avoided them because you used to hear that oh Virginia is a high in sugar. They uh burn really hot you know so I avoided them like 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 the plague but now I'm actually trying a few I'm actually quite liking them I think they're um this one is a sort of it's got a very um it's got a very sort of caramelised sugary sort of sweetness to it but at the same time there's a bit of sort of grassy note underneath you know I'm really enjoying it I'm definitely going to explore the Virginias a bit more I think from now on <coughs> anyway on to the snuff bit late I said I'd do it but I told you why I was ill. So we're going to do it today. And today we are doing. Marrakesh by Simon. Carrying on with the line um, of the Simply Snuff Snuffs. Yeah. Um, this is the third one I've done. And uh, they've been pretty good so far. And um, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see how it goes, eh? Right, let's crack into it, shall we? I think I'll put the pipe down for this. Right, to look at, it's um much the same as what the other ones were. It's like a, you know, mid chocolatey or rusty brown. Um, I believe they're all using the same tobacco base, which is a rustica based base. Um, it looks good. It looks a consistent colour. It looks a consistent grind. Um, I'm gonna say that it's a medium fine grind and it's high moisture and um it's got you know it's one of them things like you know like 
you ever see a sheet of ice on a puddle or, you know, how when you look at ice in a lake, there's that desire to pick up a rock and throw it in it or break the ice or kick the icicle. I get a similar thing when I look at this, to these um, snuffs, when you tap the tin in that and it's imprinted from the lid and it's that nice smooth <laughs> top. I get that same desire just to stick something in it and break it up and broadle it. But anyway, let's uh, jump into the tin note. Okay, so off the tin note, you're getting a bit of eucalyptus and some cloves and a little bit of lemon, and sort of herbs and spicy scent. But it smells good. It smells quite good. Right, let's jump into the old bump and talk about where it really matters. And that's when you've loaded up your face. Cheers. Okay. So it's another one of the ones that when you take it, you feel it expand. It's like it opens up and it just travels for all your navels or cavities. And, uh, you know, just brightens up your head, fills it with, you know, sensations of clove and eucalyptus. As I say, there's a little bit of lemon in there. Um, there's a bit of cinnamon spice to it. It's um, it's not bad, man. It's not bad. There's quite a bit kicking about in there. It's very easy to take because of the groin, gr groin, grain, and grind. <laughs> Because of the grind and the moisture makes it easy to uh, take. Let's jump on to number two. But I say it's easy to take, but if you do muck it up, you're going to know about it. You know, if you hit this into the top bit of your nasal cavity and it goes up into, you know, your sinuses. It's going to make you stop. <laughs> And uh, freeze up for a moment. But uh, yeah, it's like, it's like I say, it's got sort of herbs and spices. And the herbs are like a little florally. And so like for the spices, you've got the clove and the cinnamon. And then for the like floral, you've got the eucalyptus, the lemon and bit of rosemary that's what i forgot to mention but there's rosemary in it as well but you know it's 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 well balanced you know what i mean like nothing's trying to steal the show it's one where you can sit back and it will just play its cards one at a time and and you know you don't feel like there's any um What's the word? Any sort of tension or any sort of fighting of the sense to try and take centre stage. It's, it's um, It feels like it's all working together really nicely. Nicotine is quite high on this one. I think it's a rustica. I think they're all rustica, so you would expect it to be quite high. And the fact that it's a medium fine grind as well means that your cap capillaries in your nasal area can absorb that you know vitamin n all the quicker but yeah it's definitely got enough of a kick to stand on its own two feet but i would say out of all the ones i've done so far this one's the easier to take like the other two the Buccaneer and the San Sanity Claws both had menthol in it. And I believe this one's just got eucalyptus. So that may be why. But, you know, the other ones had a bit more of a menthol bang into the head. Whereas this one's, it's still got 
quite a kick. It's not soft by any means, but it's it's a little bit mellower, a bit easier to handle. So, I don't know. I think it's quite good. It's just all these sort of like... To steal phrase from uh, <laughs> Simon, it's a melange of sense. <laughs> hey, see? I learn. I don't just watch. I learn something as well. A melange of snuffs. Um, a melange of sense, rather. Um, you need to trademark that, Simon. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I mean, it's quite good. It does bring to mind. I've never been to Morocco, but it brings to mind the, uh, you know, like what it'd be like to walk down the marketplace and have all these scents and aromas butting around you. I think it's one that I'm going to enjoy using through the winter. And it's... um. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to have to, because I do quite like it. I do quite like it. It's fighting for the top spot of my favourite. I'll try and pick a favourite by the end, but it's it's up there out of the four. So, yeah, I think it's good. You know, I can't not give it a, a recommendation because... I will use the tin. I will buy it. I would buy it again. Uh, you know, and I would, it would, you know what I mean? If I was trying, yeah, I would recommend it. I would. That's all there is to it. That's what, the, that's what it's there for. So, um, I can only call it as it is, isn't it? So, I mean, that's about all I've got to say about it, really. It's a bit of a short one today, but, um, Oh, yeah, maybe I've bumped through it quick because I still feel a little bit off. You know what I mean? But I feel right. Uh, so we've got one more to do. That's um, Boodlam. Boodlam, is it how you say it? Boodlam? Boodlam? Um, yeah, should be interesting. So I'll probably do that in the next couple of days. Keep an eye out because it will drop. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I don't think there's much more I can add to it. I hope I got across to you that I quite like it. It's good. So if you think it's going to fit your tastes and desires from a snuff, then it's well worth a try. Get out there and try it. So I'm going to say, remember to tap, pinch and two because that's three ingredients to your enjoyment and your enjoyment is all i got for you. So remember to come back to the shed. And until then, I shall bid you farewell. Thank you.